So if the realtor was to express to us all the luxuries about the home, the sceneries, the depth, the um, the the, the what grocery stores, yeah, how yeah. far you got to drive yeah. before he gave the price, I will be sold. Right, I'll be sold. definitely. Like yeah. I love space. I, I want. I like this. I like land and. You know, just you and your family, you don't really have to worry about the neighbors. If that you is don't facts. Want to. You got neighbors now, it. but <laughs> they look distant. at our photo. Look they at this house back here. What's good, y'all? It's the Dumachets React, and we're back with another. Video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. Yes, yes. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that, that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on, on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Yes. Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. This right here is the billionaire's rule of Africa. Is it billionaire rule of Africa? Yeah. We're standing on what is called the Atlantic Seaboard. It starts all the way from Out Bay to Landanore to Cams Bay to Clifton, all the way to Sea Point. The Atlantic Seaboard in Cape Town stretches for approximately 25 kilometers along the western coast of the city, bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west and the Table Mountain to the east. And it houses some of the most luxurious properties, not just in South Africa, not just in Africa, but in the world. Cape Town is one of the most desirable locations for luxury real estate and the most sought after location on the African soil. The neighborhood you're going to find on the Atlantic seaboard would compete effortlessly with well-developed and more luxurious neighborhoods like Beverly Hills or Bel Air. The properties often feature breathtaking views, sophisticated architecture that can't be found anywhere else on the continent. The architecture here is on yeah. another level. Yeah, I know. Like, I haven't seen anything like this. That right there is a spaceship. The properties are so expensive that locals can't keep up with the prices of real estate in this location. That is Casablanca. Currently listed with Christine Quinn from Selling, Selling Sunset. Sunset. She's got it on the market for 35 million what? dollars. So what we're going to wow. do in today's video is expose the top 10 most luxurious areas where the most wealthiest in South Africa reside and how much this real estate masterpiece costs. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and please give this video a like. Yes, and as we're going through these uh, locations, I need to hear y'all, man. What location will best fit y'all? What's the location you guys think will best fit us? Right. Because we're looking too, right? We want to see where the nice vibes at, the views, the good architectural homes mm -hmm. that's built. Um, yeah, and now we see that they had $30 billion dollars. Right. On the market. That's a lot. That is a lot. You know, it's crazy. Every time we come up to, like, watching the real estate and and I'll say, oh, that's too high. Mm -hmm. And our supporters will be like, y'all can afford it. It's just 600000 right? USD. We're glad you think we can afford it. Appreciate that. That's a lot of house. That's the belief is crazy. <laughs> Number 10 on the countdown is Marina de Gama, a residential suburb in Musenberg. It's a B-side town in the Western Cape province oh, of South Africa, mm -hmm. located in the Falls Bay coast, about 25 kilometers south of Cape Town. Musenberg is known for its beautiful beaches with stunning views of the ocean. Marina de Gama is a popular area for people looking to own real estate that is not so expensive but still in a wealthy neighborhood in Cape Town. The main attraction of this neighborhood is the surrounding lake. Each home has a lake view and greenery all around. Residents own boats and yards which can be docked right in front of their houses. The type of architecture found here is a mix of modern and contemporary designs. All the homes here have similar build design. They are all painted in white with brown roofs. You'd find very beautiful gardens and landscaping, making it a great place to live in. The price of real estate in Marina de Gama varies depending on the size, location, and the type of property. The cheapest two-bedroom apartment sold here went for 850,000 rand, That's while the good. most expensive five-bedroom villa here is selling for 5 million rand. Yeah, Let me know what you okay. think of this neighborhood as number 10 on the countdown. 
Number nine on the countdown. Okay, let's talk about number ten. How you feel about the water? I like it. Um, I feel like they do try to give them that same energy as if they was in front of a beach, so they mm -hmm. kind of man made it and everything. And it's very spacious. Yeah. It's not like it's right there where you can just boat across and you there to the next location. It looks like it got a nice depth to it you know what i'm yeah. saying so i like it the only thing i would say is that it just seems like all of the homes just blended in yeah 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 yeah. you know i agree with that that's the only thing but i love the price point mm -hmm. that was that was okay i like yeah. that uh-huh i like that town is out bay a coastal town in western cape province of south africa situated in the valley of the atlantic seaboard of cape town peninsula and is surrounded by mountains of all the residential communities in the Atlantic seaboard, Aldi seems to be one of like the cheapest and the most affordable of them all, right? If you're looking at owning a home close to the beach, you're looking at owning a home close to the Atlantic seaboard right here in Cape Town, I think Aldi seems to be one of the cheapest places you can buy a property. And it's also known for its luxury real estate. The properties here are not very, different. very cheap, yeah. but they are a bit affordable to the more a luxurious community like Clifton or Camps Bay. Out Bay is considered one of the top 10 areas to live in Cape Town for a variety of reasons. The area is known for its stunning natural beauty with its mountains, beaches and ocean views and it's a relatively safe area as well, making it an attractive option for families looking for a place to settle down. You'd find a lot of modern architecture here, there are villas and very few apartments as well. Oh the price of real estate in Out Bay varies, average price of a home in this area is around 3.5 million rand. however prices can range from 1 million for a small apartment to 20 million for a luxury home do let me know what you think of out bay does it look like a kind of place you would like to live in yes or no hmm. hot bay to me seems more family friendly yeah, yeah, yeah you know it seems more of like a community neighborhood you know I like that. Well, we know the money's going to go up as we get in <laughs> deep into this video. So maybe let's not look at the income of the house. Like, let's not try to look at how much it costs. Let's look at what you like. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because if you want it bad enough, you can get it. And right, I truly right, believe right. that. Um, but let's look at the architect, look at the mm -hmm. locations, the sceneries. Uh, that's a lot of beach fronts with this one. Yeah, yeah. And it looked like they're not even right there at the beach. That's but, what I like about it. Yeah, it's like they got a good distance. They can go in their patio and they can still see how the beaches mm -hmm. look from the distance. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that looks really good. Home. Yeah, okay. I can't even say this word. <laughs> Number eight on the countdown is Franchuk. It's a small oh, town in the Western Cape province of South Africa, located in the beautiful Franchuk Valley, about French 75 Choke. kilometers from Cape Town. The town is known for its picturesque scenery, the restaurants, and it's home to some of the oldest wineries in the country. It's also a popular it's destination bad. for tourists, and it's known to be very safe with almost zero crime rate. The town almost is known zero. for its super luxury mansions, which attract well, wealthy buyers one. looking for a second mm -hmm. home right or a right. vacation property with a lot of square meters to play around with. Francho yeah. is known for its traditional kitchen. This location looks like you got a lot of playroom. Mm -hmm. Yo, like they literally get to look at this one for instance. The building space, what they can do with it, and look at the center of the home, how they made it so presidential. Yes. You feel me? I love homes like that. Yeah, yeah. You know, homes where it's like two sides of the house mm -hmm. and you can come out and see the courtyard like i know i was viewing a home here online and like it's just it's it's like it had the pool in the middle and of course we wouldn't buy that because the pool is in the middle right but um yeah i just love that vibe it gives like an event venue right right vibe, but it's a home i love that so if the realtor was to express to us all the luxuries about the home the sceneries the depth the um the 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 what grocery stores yeah, how yeah. far you gotta drive yeah. before he gave the price i will be sold right I'll be sold. definitely like yeah. i love space definitely. I, I want i like this i like land and you know just you and your family you don't really have to worry about the neighbors if that you is facts to. you got neighbors now but <laughs> <laughs> they look distant. how far though look at this house back up they mind their business hey these neighbors behind the, the, the woods mm -hmm. yeah that's not bad architecture with many of the properties boosting of stunning views of the surrounding mountains the price of real estate in Francho varies depending on the size and location of the property i think this is a uh, palm golden's office so we're saying like some of their listings outside here and I, was, I just wanted to you know of course see what real estate in Francho looks like there are villas for like you know 10 million rand this is like an eight bedroom mansion guys 
65 million and you have also properties sitting on a very big land space like this one as well it's going for 35 uh it looks like you're getting value for money big pool 9.2 million luxury homes in this area can range from mid-range all to the very high range come on the now. most expensive six bedroom listing here goes for 100 million vans this is one of the neighborhood right here in cape town that you can get very nice real estate and get value for money so uh, most people that really want to build villas they want to build like big homes they want to have a ranch in their property a big tennis court fan joke is that neighborhood that you're going to come to is you yeah so like that's one of the reasons we moved to texas because of the the land yeah. you know we can get more bang for our buck mm -hmm. and this is what i want like our dream home when we start building our dream home this is what i want yeah yeah you know? yeah so not the house it. exactly but yeah. like the, yeah, not the, the house. spaces just, and just just seeing it's the it. space y'all mm -hmm. it's the space and that's what we can have here in texas mm -hmm. like in louisiana you can have that space but it's not like everywhere you can't really move yeah, where you want to move it's huh? not yeah it's yeah. not like here you can literally whatever city you want to live in there's space for it yeah so you're going and to find mostly the French people the here, the Italians the here now, as well, not at all. Uh, live in this community. Number six on the countdown is Stellenbosch. It's a picturesque Stenbush. town located in the Western Cape of South Africa, known for its stunning mountain views, vineyards and wineries, making it a great place to invest in vineyards and wine-related business. Stellenbosch is quite a hub where you have students and also stories. It is one of the towns in the Western Cape, South Africa, that maintained the old rustic style. Yeah, so when you tell. see the, the buildings around, they still have that old... Yeah, I noticed uh, they're mostly yeah, white. Yeah. White in color. White in color. Very European. Yeah. Also in terms of security, ter uh, Stellenbosch is one of the safest places so, in the Western Cape. But also home to some of the most sought after high-end properties in the Cape Town market and in South Africa at large. There are several estates, but the most popular is the Zaldi Golf Estate in the central Stellenbosch, known for its luxury upscale homes, the wine estate, ranches and a golf course and also a lake. It's, it's a golf estate with uh, ranches on it as well. And um, these are some of the high profile areas. Some very prominent people in Stellenbosch uh, reside here. It's not just residential, it's, they also got a whole, the whole wine industry running inside there as well. It's wow. really an upmarket place. In this neighborhood, it's all the homes shop. have similar build designs. You'd find a variety of architectural styles, mostly Cape Dodge, Victorian and Georgian architectural design. The white and color population here and in Fanchoke is the highest of any neighborhood on this countdown. The average price of a home specifically at this estate okay, is around 5 million rand. Very different. With prices ranging from but 4 million much? up to 50 million rand. This area is also known for its excellent rental oh. hills with some of the properties achieving returns of over 8%. Let me know what you... But look at the location though. I, I, I can't understand why it would be at that price. Mm -hmm. Look at the vineyards. Yeah, it's like... Again, like we was mentioning, look at all the space that they have. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like... It's not no crazy sceneries. The land is oh, probably far from the rest of the communities. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's like but the it's only out there is, in the middle of nowhere almost, you know? Mm -hmm. But the only thing is, from the views we have seen so far, all the homes kind of look similar. You know, if I'm going to pay that price point... the first time I heard that. Yeah, if I'm going to pay that price point, I need my house to stand out. I need when you scroll on in your car down the mm -hmm. street, you say that's the Demichette's house. Estate. Ooh, yeah, uh, I want to bring up a mention of when Ooh, we had man. seen this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we had seen this one spot, man, this realtor oh. built this home and he had like a C on it, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he like he yeah, signed yeah. the wall with his signature because it's mm -hmm. like, just it's up there. mine. Yeah, he had it five. Think of Stellenbosch as number seven on the countdown. Ooh, See, now this, this is going to be expensive. City. This is going to be expensive. Yeah, this is the city. <clears throat> the Sea Point, is it, is Western it Cape. For six on the countdown is Sea Point. It's a neighborhood located on the Atlantic seaboard, just south of the city center. Sea oh, Point is particularly yeah, popular really. for its promenade, 
filled with restaurants, bars, See? luxury apartments, and oh, also yeah. has proximity to the stadium and the city oh, center. Yeah. People who buy homes in Sea Point tend to be lovers of high rise and you know city life, and also looking for a neighborhood with a lot okay. of waterfront luxurious lifestyle. In Sea Point, you'll find mainly modern architectural styles and structures. Most of the ancient designs have been refurbished to meet the demand of the upscale and modern homes in Cape Town. This area is known for its luxury waterfront apartments, townhouses and villas with stunning views of the ocean. Sea Point is also home to some of the most expensive real estate in the city with prices ranging from 5 million all the way to 20 million rand for a standalone range, villa. Though. However, Sea Point is popular it. for its apartment. A two bedroom or four bedroom apartment here will start from 1 million all the way to 5 million respectively. Let me know what you think of Sea Point as number six on the countdown and if it's a place you'd like to buy a property in Cape Town. Is that one that you could easily spot out though to say, oh, they got lovely luxury homes in? You know what I'm saying? It does look a little crowded now. It is. Everything um, looks like it's on top of each other, like they're building blocks. Not for us, as being a family of five mm -hmm. with a dog. I don't think a condo would be good for us. Oh, no, we're not doing condos. Yeah, yeah I don't think it would be good for us. Maybe, you know, to... A vacation home, but other than that, and we I don't have, think we, that have, would we have our we have our ways. Yeah, we, I don't think ways. we can get a condo now. We can get one, but we have our reasons. Yeah, it wouldn't be like for no. We have our reasons. <laughs> Let me just leave like that. <laughs> Number five on the countdown is Bishop's Court. It's Bishop's a residential Court. neighborhood located in the southern suburbs of Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, I this like this. This area is known for its large, luxurious Ooh, homes hey, and its proximity the to the city center. Bishop's Court nice. has a we, lot we of similarities with Fanchuk and Stellenbridge in regards to the kind of real estate and landscaping you'd find here. About with the, glasses, the people who uh, buy homes here in Bishop's Court are typically affluent foreigners looking for a luxurious lifestyle Yo, and wild. specifically houses with a lot of space as this I is like what this. Bishop's Court is known for. You'd find homes on... There's the Demachets mm. estate. Okay. I <laughs> like that. Yeah, that was dope. Mm -hmm. I like that. That was very clean. And then the greenery with the greenery on the outside. So I seen one. Yeah. They had the house kind of like with green tent on it or something like that. And they had the greenery around it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that screams the Demachets estate. Mm -hmm. That screams... The Demachets God knew estates. we was going to get here. <laughs> <laughs> very large land space five or even ten thousand square meters of land this area different. is popular with families and retirees who are looking for a safe and secure neighborhood to either grow a family or retire it's also ah, popular with outside. investors looking for a good return on their investment the architecture and grass. building structure in bishop's court is typically modern and very luxurious homes in this area are large and features high-end finishes with amenities many homes feature open floor plans large windows, outdoor living spaces with tennis court, swimming pool. Bishop's Court has well-maintained streets, landscaping, making it a desirable place to live in. Real estate in Bishop's Court is highly sought after, with homes typically selling for a premium. A five-bedroom mansion here start from around 25 million rand. The most expensive six bedrooms selling here on Property 24, right here in Bishop's Court, is at 100 million rand. Let me know what you think oh, of Bishop's yeah. Court as number five on the countdown. It's very important. You think me. so? Yes, especially, yeah. you know, with me being a writer and I'm inspired by my environment, it's very important. When I wake up in the morning and I look outside, I need it to look nice. Yeah, and I, I feel it. the same. I'm a nature type of guy, so if I'm stepping outside, I'm chilling, and I want to just take a nice sit, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? The nature is there to complement it. Yeah, that, that, that view right there will make you go put on a bikini for no reason. Only a few people are going to go to the top of... <laughs> <laughs> and just go sit outside. You just go hey, sit outside. Only a few people gonna put on the uh go go get a hotel room at the top floor and then they use a wall. Right. 
Right, or they got the mm-hmm. wrong side of the building today. Yeah. Oh, and they'll be comfortable well. with that. Nah. Mm-mm. Move me, sir. It's a very closed community, you could say, in that everybody that lives here works together. You know, everyone knows one another. It's, it's as I said, remote. You don't really have shops. There's no street lights. Nothing commercial. There's a primary school. There's a beautiful beach. Lots of people surf. And it's really just about um, living in this uh, you know, coastline town. This is the popular Villa Mirage, a four-story heaven with an amazing contemporary architecture here in London North. Crazy, it was featured in the Blood and Water series. My friend Sibaya did a tour and it was breathtaking. If you were to put the price on this property, it would be well above 200 million rands. I also taught a six-bedroom home here in London North for 60 million rand, which you're going to see in an upcoming episode. An average four or five bedrooms will start around 30 million rand up to 200 million rands in this community. Majority of homeowners here are foreigners looking for a quiet neighborhood away from the bustling Camps Bay but still want to be on the Atlantic seaboard. This area offers variety of housing options from the most luxurious villas to mid-range apartments. Prices of real estate in Landono would vary depending on the size and location of the property. So let me know what you think of Landano as number four on the yes. countdown. Yeah, they're pretty decent though. This look like the last one just about. This look like Las Vegas. Number three on the countdown is Camps Bay, the most popular suburb on the countdown oh. here in Cape Town, South Africa. Most popular. This neighborhood is set against the backdrop of the 12th Apostle overlooking the glittering Atlantic Ocean. Camps Bay is not only one of the most breathtaking suburbs in the world, it is also home to some of the... Right, I'm going to be real with y'all. It's a no for me. Cam Bay you is think? a no. It's overcrowded. Look I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. Cam Bay is this very nice. This neighborhood is set against the backdrop of the top apostle but, um, overlooking the glittering Atlantic Ocean. Nah. Cam's Bay is not only one of the most breathtaking. You see that? What's wrong with it? Somebody else's house is right there. Oh. It's like luxury is also about oh. privacy. Like, it's no way that you can yeah. have that amount of luxury. And you come outside and you like right there in somebody else's face. Mm-mm, and I'm not saying nothing wrong that. with that. In case I want to go skinny dipping, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just not the type like 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 Babe said. It's about the space, right? Yeah, and privacy. if there's not enough privacy or space around, then and then even behind him, right? They mm-hmm. may have another house looking down on them. So yeah, it's like just uh, seeing all in your business. Yeah, we think yeah, nobody y'all know how people watching. Get. Y'all know how people get. Somebody's always watching. Somebody's always watching. <laughs> you got that much money, you can get a telescope and say, nah. "Hello." Nah, I agree, babe. Mm-mm. Yeah, Camp Bay look very nice, um, but nah, that's enough for me. Not this view. Suburbs in the wall. It is also that. home to some yeah, of the most like... incredible luxury properties. And it's world renowned for its pristine powder white beaches, a promenade filled with restaurants and expensive supercars. One other thing that I do love about Cats Bay is all of the restaurants, as you mentioned. I also love seeing all the cars. You will be so inspired every time you're sitting at Cats Bay. Yeah, Last time we went to Paranga restaurant, we saw a Rolls Royce, we saw Ferraris, we saw Porsches, we saw a bunch of Mercedes Benz, so many different cars. I we love that she's mentioning that because mm. when we moved to Texas, that's how it was for us. Yeah. Like we had seen homes that we've never seen, buildings we've never seen, cars that just not on a norm, like back to back to back to back. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that is a culture shock. That is a motivation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I feel where she's coming from. Definitely. You see Bentley's, you see McLaren's, all sorts of supercars. While this area is a popular definitely. holiday destination for international travelers, it is still an ideal suburb for family living, offering a vibrant and coastal luxury lifestyle. Camp Bay is a very special suburb. There's nothing, there's no other suburb like very, it. It's very popular out there, like on the Incredibly internet. Incredibly popular. Yeah. And, uh, it's, a, it's a picturesque suburb. So you've got this mountain backdrop, amazing sea views, nature. It's really all about yeah, just right. indulging. So how they have Camp Bay built? It's like, I will have to have the corner somewhere like all the way to the top mm-hmm. like it's like a stadium they built it like yeah it's the, the the down drop you know so i need a corner nowhere in the center nowhere in the center People and the beauty of what cape town is it's so beautiful here you wouldn't want to live anywhere else what are the kind of uh properties that we're going to find right here in uh, in cape town uh in, in camp Bay. yeah a lot more freehold properties so standalone yeah. homes yeah 
family orientated um, in front of us that is uh, in a well it's a building it's a it's a house called Casa Blanca Casa Blanca um, very well known it's currently listed with Christine Quinn from Selling, Selling Sunset. Sunset yeah um, and she's got it on the market for 35 million dollars it's absolutely <laughs> exquisite there are a couple, you know, apartment blocks here and there, particularly on the outskirts higher up. Yeah. I believe properties right here would have right high return because if you're putting it then, for investments, yeah, higher occupancy do. rates as well, for Airbnb, high bookings as yeah, well. So great Airbnb neighborhood, great stuff. place. Mm -hmm. I personally love it. Number three on the countdown. Yeah. Let us know what you think. Hey, my mother's a dancer. Oh, yeah. yeah. You good on this one? Yeah, I'm good on that. We're gonna keep one. it pushing. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather get my more bang for my buck somewhere else. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, it's yeah just gotta respect too... that. Yeah. I don't like it. Mm, not today. Oh yeah. On the tip of my look. I get on the top of the hill. Number two on the countdown is Bantry Bay. Yeah, it's a beautiful that? and affluent suburb of Cape Town, South Africa, neighboring areas like Sea Point and Clifton. Bantry Bay, as the name suggests, Sorry. is situated on the slope of the lion's head on the Atlantic seaboard of the city. The neighborhood of Bantry Bay, the oh, suburb, is very, very well known for the fact that it's wind protected. You're paying for your position, prime location, mm. probably one of the best neighborhoods to live in in Africa. In Africa. And um, you're high up, so you're away from the hustle and the bustle of the lower suburb of Seapoint. Our president lives in this neighborhood, ambassadors. We have politicians, yeah. um, even other presidents, um, particularly in Africa. Own properties, yeah. Own property um, yeah. In, uh, yeah, in this suburb. You would be very int interested in who, <laughs> who you meet in the streets, yeah. This neighborhood mm. is home to some of the most expensive real estate in the city and in Africa. So we're talking about standalone homes. Villas. The majority of these properties are villas, yeah. multi-level, um, yeah. spacious modern beautiful views position the type of architecture found here are mostly very modern and contemporary homes that cost a lot to build so the average selling price currently is 26 million rand well i know that that house over there sold for 60 million a couple months ago across the road from this house um, there's another property on the market for 36 and a half million called down the road we've got property on the market for 120 like the million stuff, beautiful like, villas mm -hmm. big gardens so yeah yeah there's a it's they're all high up mainly over 20. let me know what you think of bantry bay as number two on the countdown and if it's a neighborhood you love to live in let's see number one <laughs> Number one on the countdown is Clifton. It's the most sought after an extremely expensive area to own real estate in South Africa and in Africa at large, with homes nestled on cliffs that have sweeping views of the Atlantic Ocean right through the Atlantic seaboard and often leading the most wealthy streets in South Africa's list. What is like the one thing you would say Clifton is known for? Clifton is known for its beaches. Yeah, the beaches. I, I that was okay. Yeah. You want to be on Clifton Beach during the summertime. The old market neighborhood Clifton lies beneath the Lion's Head Peak between Sea Point and Camps Bay. Let's have an idea of the kind of people that buy properties in this location. It's a variety of people, as it is everywhere, right? But yeah. the majority of people that own here are investors, business orientated, a lot of internationals. I mean, it's difficult for the locals yeah. to actually keep up with the property prices in this area, particularly because it is such an international destination. It's a dream come through for anyone to own real estate here, Not as properties okay. are in high demand, with appreciation rates climbing as high as 8.2%. Yeah, the demand for homes here is so high that there are currently no vacant land for new construction. From beachside bungalows to mountainside mansions, Clifton really has you covered. Mm. A lot of sectional titles, so you've got a lot of apartments lower down, as you can see, stretching over the beaches and yeah. with direct access. And then up on the hill, you've got these absolutely exquisite villas. The architectural design you see in Clifton is very sophisticated. It features some of the most complex architecture I have seen in any neighborhood within Africa, with homes featuring glass facade, gigantic windows, and huge balconies to take advantage of the views and the fresh air that come from the ocean. The one on the left right, of that so, curvy... So far with Clifton Homes, you do look like that you have 
a lot of priv privacy. Mm -hmm. I, I just cannot see that. Like, well, I can't see it. I'm sorry. It looks like you have a lot of privacy, man. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the architect is very futuristic. They got yeah, like this yeah. little swivel thing going on with the buildings. The glass. All the glass. Yes. Yeah, we're going to need uh, hire somebody to come clean all that because <laughs> I, I ain't that tall. Yeah, there's options. You know, whether you want a, a condo, a villa, mm -hmm, or, you mm -hmm. know, a standalone property. This is not bad. Yeah. Structured one yeah. was sold by my colleague at Remax this year for over 170 what? million rand. Yes! And then next door, that for me is one of my ultimate. Um, it's it's definitely one of the the most favorable homes on the Atlantic seaboard. And what do you think um, it what what do you think is the is the price like the the worth of the property? I would like to say in the region of around 200 million, maybe a little bit more, but Cliffstead is popular with wealthy foreigners, especially European families owning vacation homes here, who are attracted to the area's exclusivity, the pleasant weather, and the endless high-end lifestyle. This neighborhood, your average price per, uh, per property is okay. about 20 million. If you were looking for anything over three bedrooms, you're looking at closer to 50 million. Yeah, your prices are very high here. I mean, this Damn. is your prime, prime position. I call it million dollar mile. Like I said, the penthouse that I sold, beautiful two bedroom, 200 square meters. Wow. 27 million. Wow. So you're paying for position, security, um, idyllic lifestyle. I mean, where else in the world are you going to be exploring? So Clifton is an epitome of luxury and let me know what you think of this neighborhood as number one on the countdown. All right, guys. So That was cool seeing all of what South Africa, well, Cape Town has to offer with yeah. the luxury communities. Yeah. A lot mm -hmm. of options. Maybe you're viewing this channel today and you live one of these locations. Yes, let us let know. Let us know how that's going. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let real. us know. Because, yeah, very nice, though. Overall, mm -hmm. very nice. Yes. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks. thanks if you like to support the channel that way. As well as our request form is in the description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.